Hey there, this is Aral Pushpam and this video I am going to show how to set up the headless project in your local and I am going to use the Next.js application. So first you have to install the Sidecore instance. My case I use it 10.4 version and then the next step is you have to install the Sidecore headless package. So for that just go here and then browse Sidecore headless package download. It will show the first link. And then here you can download your package, my case 10.4 version. So I download and installed 22.0.0, but uh, just check your Sidecore version and then download the package. Once the package is uploaded in the Sidecore, so the next step is we have to set up uh, the configuration in the Sidecore. I'm going to use the SXA architecture. So let me create the new project for that. That's the first step. Mm. Go to create the uh, collection, headless site collection. And then we can give the name. My name is, so I just like to use headless collection. Headless demo collection, okay. Mm. Yep, and then click OK. Yeah, now the tenant is created. I'm going to create the headless site now. Right click. And then insert and then headless site. And my site name is freelancing. And uh, so we can keep this host name and then now uh, folder is slash. Let's check the models. Good. I think we can update the deployment secret later. Yeah. Let's create the site now. Yeah, the site is created, then close. And now we can create our uh, JSS API key. So for that, we have to go to system and then settings and then services and then ap key and uh, let's create the ap key now freelancing ap key oops hmm. yep and then here we have to update these two fields, cross origin is star, and then allowed controls of so star. And um, yeah, let's save it. Now our cycle work is done. Now we can start to create our next JS application. Further, just open your Visual Studio Code, and um, yeah, now we open the next JS app folder. And now we can start to install the JSS CLI uh, plugin. So I'm just copying the command and terminal, new terminal. terminal and here the plus icon, PowerShell. Yeah, here we can uh, run our uh, commands. Now, next command is this one. Yeah, my application name is freelancing hyphen nextjs hyphen app and and my uh, host name is freelancing.dev.local. Okay, now it's asking some question. Let me pick. Yes. Yeah, now it's asking next question. Okay. Click enter and no, and uh, I'm going to use SSG. So enter and no. Yep, now it's installing all the packages. While installing the packages, I like to set up my uh, host name. I don't have any sites with the name of freelancing.dev.local. So I just like to create that. So for that, I'm um, just going to AS and here. 
I'm going to add the bindings. So sides, headless, and bindings. And here, HDDP, OK, and close. Next step is we have to update in the host file as well. Step is we have to update in the host file. So I just open my host file and you can find it under drivers and then etc folder. So zero one space 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 and, and then save. Just go to AS and try to access the website. It's running. Let's check our progress here. Okay, it looks good. Actually, the site is going to uh, layout not found page. Yeah, it's expected only. Okay, um, it is completed. Now we can navigate to our new folder. CD freelancing hyphen next JS hyphen app. Enter. Okay, and then we can run the next command. JSS setup. Um, yes. Okay. Now we have to share our uh, root path. I'm taking that. Here is the path. Paste and enter. And the host name. No, I'm using different host name. Is my host name. I think I have to use it with HTTP. Let's check. Okay. HTTP and uh, colon slash. Uh, okay. Um, enter and then APK. Now we can copy the APK from here and then we can paste it here. Enter. Uh, let's leave it uh, blank. Yeah. So now it's created the app. And all good. Um, now we have to do some more uh, configuration. The first we can update our uh, editing secret. So editing secret we can find it in the environment file uh, here. Editing secret and it's like a 16 digit number. You can update any number. I'm just going to use my same freelancing AP key uh, but I'm going to remove the uh, hyphen. Mm. This one, this one, and this one. Yeah, and then save the file. Um, yeah, we have we have to update the same value in the site core configuration, site core, and then config um, uh, this file. And uh, here we can find some JSON editing secret attribute. Um, such yeah here it is the one here I have to update the same value okay uh, let me copy it and then paste it okay now we don't need this because it's handled by a success so we can remove it and then here we can check our settings Mm, looks good. Yeah, all good. Next setting is SRC folder and then library folder. And then this one. So here we have to update our uh, root ID. Okay, so here it should be. This one. So our home item is this one. Yeah, perfect. Then now we can update our uh, app name in the site core side. Okay, just go to your site core and then settings, site grouping, freelancing. And our site name is so site name here 
this other side name. Can put the side name here. And then database master is fine. And all good. Now we highlight to update my rendering host settings. You can find it under settings node and then services. And in the services, you can find the rendering host and then default. And here we can update that. HTTP slash local host slash HTTP slash render. In the upcoming videos, I will share more details about all these settings. But in this video, I'm just focusing only on set up the application. So application is playing next to JS app. Save. Let me double check. Yeah, all good. Looks like we have updated all the settings. And now we can deploy our applications. This is deploy config. Okay, going into my root folder. And I'm checking whether this app config file is created or not. So app config. Find all of my configuration files then. So it looks good now. We can go to the next step. So the next step is I'm going to run my uh, JSS application with connected mode. Just start. It looks like it started in localhost 3000. I'm going to access this. Okay, it is ready now. I just checked the localhost. Here it's showing uh, freelancing. And then I uh, try to open my home page in the experience editor and I am getting this error. So I think it may related with JSS uh, editing secret, but I already updated that I'm not sure whether it's updated or not in my um, configuration file. Let's go to app config folder and then site code and then um, JavaScript services and then and then this file. Sitecode.javascript services sitecode.javascript services.viewengine.http.config and open the file in Opera plus plus and then check your secret. Okay. Um, it looks like it's trying to uh, find it from my uh, environment file. Um, what's the updated time? Um, okay, it's not updated today. I thought it may update it from here. Um, let me update my secret uh, file, copy, and then paste. Okay, save. And uh, one more thing I like to restart my output because we did some configuration change. It's better to recycle the apple, start and then let me refresh. Okay, after uh, restarting my website, I can see the pages in experience editor. And uh, here I can see my uh, uh, components and uh, yep. But the page is not like uh, editable, but that I will check in the next video. Thank you so much.